Yo, what's good everybody? This your boy Reggie J. Sneaks coming at you guys today with a new video. Today's video is going to be a real quick video showing you guys how to install an oil filter bypass valve into your Chrysler 300. Um, you guys probably run into this issue when you're doing your oil and then you hear something either pop or break or when you take out your oil filter, you just either see a lot of black pieces falling out of the oil filter or you guys probably just see spring pop out of place or be sitting into the oil filter valve. But if you guys run into any of these issues, this is the video for you guys because I'm gonna show you guys how to change that part out when you guys doing your oil change. Pretty much mandatory to do is change this part when you guys doing your oil change because you guys wanna make sure that your oil filter is really working the way it's supposed to be because if this piece decides to break on your 300, a Pentastar engine you guys have, if this decides to break on you, pretty much you won't know because I know that it won't throw out a cold, but just know that your oil pretty much won't be getting filtered. It will just pretty much be going into the filter and we going right back down now to your oil pan. But with all that being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this quick install. With all that being said, I need you guys to go ahead and stop what you guys are doing. Drop a like on this video right now, as well as a comment and let me know what you guys thought of the video once you guys watch the video full the way through. And if you guys are new to this channel because of the tire down below or just because of the videos I've been doing in the past, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I will be dropping more videos on my Cross 200. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys to this quick install video and I'll see you guys when the video is over. So in the meantime, between time you guys are gonna get straight in. All right, so starting out, this is the part you guys will need. This is a Dorman oil filter bypass valve. The part number is 917992. The only thing that comes in these uh, packages is just pretty much a black plastic piece and a spring that pretty much goes into the oil filter housing. And I'll show you guys step by step how to do it. Pretty much how I know noticed that mine's broke is when I pulled mine's out. I didn't see the black plastic piece on top of my spring. As you guys can see, the spring is open with no black piece on top. And right there, so I started to look in the inside to see if it would fall out. And it didn't until actually I took the oil filter off and then the black piece kind of fell out. But this is just the spring. I'll show you guys the black piece that fell out right here. Um, you can see that all the teeth on this black piece actually got too hot and broke off. And then when I was untwisting in my oil filter off, that's how I know this is happening. But pretty much installing it wise, you guys wanna just put the spring inside of the other spring. Make sure you guys have nothing else up under the spring because you want the spring to just pretty much sit right in there. And what you're gonna do is put that black cover piece right on top of it. And you guys wanna push it down until you hear two clicks. Not the first click, but the second click. And then after that, you wanna just keep springing it up to make sure that it's bouncing back up towards you guys and not getting stuck. All right, and that was the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this whole quick little video. Um, I did not include the whole oil change process in there because if you guys need any help on how to uh, change your oil or change your oil on your 300, I have a link down in the description down below to my previous video, as well as another tab up here. If you guys haven't already seen the pop up, make sure you guys click on that so you guys can go ahead and learn how to change your oil on your Chrysler 300 as well as if you guys run into this same problem I did, then you guys should be able to attack this problem too as well because like I said, it's really quick and straightforward. All you have was a plastic black piece and one little spring that you have to make sure that you put it into place and make sure it's still spring back up. But uh, yeah, you guys, hope this video helped you guys out. I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought of the video down in the comments down below once again. Make sure you guys give this video a like and make sure you guys subscribe. But with all that being said, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and I'll see you guys on the next one. So in the meantime, between time, I'm out of here. Peace.